day by day, you are going to have to make choices. You are going to have to decide who you want to be. You owe it to yourself to have a sense of the purpose of God on your life. To have a sense of the vision of who you think you are and where you want to go. And to commit to the process of protecting that vision by persistently and consistently moving the cheese. By never allowing circumstances to overcome and to overwhelm you. By knowing that you will have troubles, there will be challenges, there will be what the world calls failures. But guess what? In my books, there's nothing called failure. You do not fail until you are dead and you have not accomplished your goal. At different seasons in the course of your life, some things will not work out as you want it to be. But that will only be a stage. It's the cumulative result of your all the seasons of your life that will be the legacy of your life. So even if one season does not work, I'm telling you now, because those seasons will come. Don't let anybody tell you you have failed. Take the word out of your dictionary. Every time it hasn't worked out, take the lesson from that stage and move on. Find out what you needed to know that you didn't know or what you need not to be doing that you are doing and decide what you need to do next and take the next step. What you are going to do with your life is despite the challenges that you see. Because challenges do not destroy vision. They empower, they drive, they push, they push you to be creative. They encourage you to find solution to impossible. They make stars of you. Because when you solve impossible problems, you become a star. Now, sometimes, some of you at this moment think you know who you are. You think you know where you want to go. It's good to have an idea and have a sense. But be open and be flexible. Because life will reveal itself to you at different stages. Respond to it as it opens itself to you. So some of you, you will accidentally find your purpose or the areas of your calling. Some of you have studied the same degree that will lead you to your greatness. That's fine. But in your heart, when you go to bed at night, be true to thyself. The certificate and the education has its place. But guess what the real things that will separate you outside? Your character, your personality. How you handle human beings, your ability to respond to situations, your ability to be creative in every impossible situation, your ability to engage with human beings with respect and a sense of dignity, knowing that every human being, rich or poor, small or big, counts. That not your neighbors, not the son of the minister or the son of the governor that you know, no. That the son of your house help, the son of your father's driver, that the gets man in your house. Every single human being that you will meet will count in your life because you do not know where you will meet them again. Human beings are mobile. They change form every season. You must treat every human being like a treasure of God that they are. Everywhere you will be in life, every place you will go, there will be a man or a woman speaking for you or against you. And it will be about when they encountered you, what legacy you left with them. So in your walk of life, realize that human beings count. And it's not about who they are now. It's about who they can be that you do not know. Because even you do not know just how far the Lord will take you or the places you will sit. You will have a sense of it. But time will always unfold and reveal many things about you. Yoruba people say, 20 children do not play together for 20 years. So all of you will not emerge at the same level at the same time. Don't worry about that. Don't follow any other person's clock. Follow your time scale. Be the best of yourself at every stage of your life. Celebrate your friends that succeed at a stage. But don't despise or be envious of them because your own time will come. Everybody's time is different. If you follow your own time, 
you will be successful in your own time and your success would last for a lifetime and it will be a great legacy.